in this video I'll be unboxing and showing how to set up your Canon PIXMA MJ3620. So let's get started with the unboxing. So here we have the power cable that needs to be attached in the back of the printer. And in the same box we have both cartridges, the black ink cartridge 240 and also the color one that is the Canon 241. You also have the quick starting guides over here and the warranty card, but also a CD with the software uh, for your computer, for a Windows computer. It's quite surprising because not many computers have a CD player anymore. And uh, yeah, that's about it in this stack of paper. And finally, we got the printer. So this is all you get in the box. Now let's continue with this setup. You will then need to remove all this plastic transparent protective tape that is all around the tape of the printer. There is also some orange tape that you also need to remove. Don't forget to turn around your printer and to remove this first tape okay but also this uh, other plastic piece over here you need to remove it if you want the printer to work it's also on the back where you need to plug the power cable that comes in the box it's right over here on the right side you just need to align those two dots and press firmly on the cable the other side obviously goes into your wall then all it's left to do is to turn on the printer by pressing the power button and then you have to wait just a few minutes, two minutes. You'll hear some noises, it's perfectly normal, it's the first time that it's getting turned on. To insert the ink it's very easy, the first step is to open this door here, just lower it this way, then you need to lower it this small shelf and then there's another door to lower simply pull it this way with your fingers under the door then on the right side over here you'll notice that there's two gray plastic retainers and even over here you can see that it says color on this side on the left side and black on the right side so we'll do exactly what they say we'll take the color ink cartridge All you have to do is to peel this orange protective tape. Never touch with your finger the contacts over here or the print head that is under. To place the cartridge, it's very easy. All you have to do is to push down these gray's retainers. With one finger, it's very easy until it clicks down. Take your color cartridge and to insert it, it's very easy. You just have to glide it in. Okay, so you take it this way and you just glide it in place. It may not be stable at first. It's because you need to put back this gray retainer by pushing it up like this. And now the cartridge won't move around. Do the same thing for the black cartridge. Remove the orange tape and then just glide it inside. Remember the print head will always point down. And once it's inside you just put back the gray retainer like this. Now that ink is secured you can close down this small trap and then close down the bigger lid. So the first thing you need to do is to lower this front lid. Simply stick your finger here and push it down. Then you'll have this small tray opening. You're gonna open it even further. You see here there's a small slit. 
stick your finger there and simply push on the outside like this. Additionally, you can even flip the small plastic this way. Then you'll notice that there's two guides over here. One is gray and one is black. To put a standard eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you'll need to push them outwards. You just have to take your finger and push it the, and push the gray one towards the right side. The left one will automatically go in the other way to make space for a sheet of paper. If you're printing on 4x6 paper, a picture, let's say, you can put it an a sm at a smaller dimension since the 4x6 takes less space. But for now, let's do it like this. Now take your paper, it could be a stack of paper, and slide it through the two guides until you feel a resistance. Then before printing, you need to lower this top shelf as well. You can also extend it simply by pulling like this, since this is where everything that we will print will go. So let's start with the easiest way to scan. First thing, just make sure that you have some paper inserted in the paper tray. Okay, like this. Open the scanner, place the document. Here I have a document. Align it with this corner over here. You should see a small arrow pointing, so you just need to glide it until it touches this corner. Then close down this lid. And then you have to select if you want a black and white, the first button here, or a color scan. It will then take one of this piece of paper and it will print whatever scan it just scanned on that paper. In my case, I want a, a black and white, so I'll press the black button here once. You just have to wait at this point. Perfect. So this is our scan, just to show you, compare to the original one. As I ask, I want it in black and white, and this is how it looks. Now let me show you how to do it with a PC Windows computer. You need to download the software uh, from the Canon website, the driver for the printer, so it works with your PC. Just make sure that Windows is selected here. By the way, I'll put this link in the description of this video, so it's easier for you and then press the download, download it and open the software. Open the software that you just downloaded. Yes. Start setup. Select your country and region, then press next. Press yes. Agree, next, and here it will ask you if you want to connect by wireless or by USB connection. We want to do it uh, wirelessly, so select that one and press next. Select the first one, and now it's time to go on the printer and put it in pairing mode. You need to press once on the stop button, then here that's the network button. You're gonna keep it pressed until this light will blink. Then you can release it. Press the color button, this button over here once, and then the network button once as well, until this light is flashing. Then press the next button on the computer. Then press next here. Okay, then make sure that your printer is selected on this list and press next.
and then you'll have connection completed this is nice you're gonna press next a lot of next buttons and now you have to wait then it will ask you to do a print head alignment to do so make sure that you have paper inserted in the printer itself okay and just press the next button and then you can press the execute button if you wanted to print the test sheet to align the print head but you can skip this process you're not obligated to do it so you can press next if you want to skip it and it will give you the message that the setup is finally completed and you can press next here it will ask you which software you want it to be installed and honestly you don't need any of these so you can click back to top and exit this uh, software now you're gonna go in the start button here of your Windows computer Oop, click on it then go into the settings then go in device then printer and scanners then tap the plus icon here and the Canon printer should appear in this list MJ3600 series click on it click add device and wait until it's connected it's connecting right now then you should see appear over here your Canon printer under printer and scanners you should see two of them this is the one you need to click with WS if you want to scan click on it click manage and then from here you can select the scanner if you want to scan you can tap open scanner if you don't see this it will ask you to download the scan app that is from Windows download it and then you'll be able to see this button appearing now if you want to scan with your Windows laptop you just need to open the scanner here take any document that you want to scan and place it facing down and align it with the arrow that is right over here so just push it until it reach that corner like this then close the lid and on your PC you're gonna tap the scan button and after a few seconds you're gonna get this message that scan blah 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 PNG was saved on to desktop so you can go to the desktop you can go view directly here or you can simply close everything and on my desktop over there I can already see it let me open it this is the scan I just did then you can adjust it rotate it send it by email do whatever you want to do if you want to print a document you're gonna find the document on your computer open it now depending what software you're using you can go into files and then go to print and here you have to select Canon MG 3600 series and you have to modify those settings depending what kind of paper you're printing on if you want it to be on color or not it really depends you can press properties here and adjust you know the the paper size print quality and many other things depending on your preferences in my case I just want to print it black and white so I will check this option here and I will press print when I'm ready make sure that you have paper inserted inside of the printer
here we go so this is the text I just printed it looks sharp it looks exactly as I wished and then you can print some more or just exit and uh, yeah go on with your day